Right, so for if ever that you your connection falls down from in inside Zoom, so you can go to uh, you can go to YouTube just in case, right? So now yeah, now we are also live in YouTube. We're streaming, so you, there's also a chat box here in YouTube. You can also comment, right? And let me just share this. And let me just silent this. And so let me just share the YouTube presentation for people who are, you know, having a hard time to connect or hindi namin nasendan ng, ng invite. No? Baka kasi may mga humahabol eh. Di ba? Baka hindi na rin natin ma-message. Alright, so you're here as well. Again, if you have some questions, you can send here. So thank you for sending in. From Cagayan de Oro, wow, si Dr. Jessa Mores, University Professor for Petagogy. Petagogy, right? I expect to learn something new. Sorry, hindi ko alam yung practice na yun. Ha. <laughs> okay. Sige, so continue to let me know what do you expect to learn from today's orientation. The reason why I'm asking is possibly um, no, baka wala sa slides, di ba? So that we can also talk about it. Ayan. So just, you know, comment down. Pag nabasa ko, probably I can also address some of your questions or some of the things that you feel um, gusto nyo mapag-usapan. Ganon. So again, welcome to our real estate business seminar. This is DJ Dimaliwat. And what do you expect for today is first, we'll be talking about the current situation of real estate. And um, if, if, if is it a good time to do real estate selling right now? I think that's, uh, let's get it out of the way uh, as soon as we can. <clears throat> Those questions that we have in mind. And we will also talk about um, driven our background and how we can help you in this industry we'll be talking about some of the ways how people earn in this industry and how much people are earning so if you see my video in youtube i also have a video kung magkano kinikita ng mga real estate agents diba? so you can check it out as well and the next steps what do you need to do moving forward after this orientation what you will be doing in order for you to have a successful career here Right? Because again, you should understand that attending this orientation is the first step, but it, you will never be successful until you take action of what you need to do moving forward. Right? Um, so let me introduce my background first. Again, I'm 33 years old and I've been in the real estate industry since 2008. So for 12 years now, almost 12 years, I started October 2008, right before I graduated college. So I got interested in real estate when I read Rich Dad Poor Dad. I told myself I want to invest in real estate. But I realized wala akong pera. Diba? So the best way for me to learn real estate is to be an insider. So being an insider means I work in the industry. So true enough, I was invited by my friend online. Uh, we have a group. It, during the time of sulit.com.ph, I was active there. I was selling other stuff. And then an active member as well invited me and he told me to attend an orientation. So during that orientation, I attended, I met some friends and I got excited. Um, and it, it's not enough for me to learn how to sell. Sabi sa akin nung, nung mentor ko, DJ, after this, bumalik-balik ka sa office. What a week, twice a week I go to the office. Kasi doon, doon ka matututo, you can ask around, uh, attend ka ng mga training or orientation. Yun. So ganun yung ginawa so I learned through the way, along the way, right? through the process. I, I went through the journey para um, talagang, alam mo yun, it, we learn through experience. Eh? That's the best thing. So especially in this industry, diba? the more you do this, the more you understand the terminologies, the more you understand the buyer's behavior. So that's what happened to me. No? So pinatend ako ng mga training ay attended mga product knowledge seminar and then I posted ads kasi kailangan naga-ads kay di ba 
um, I was 21 years old back then. Wala akong kakilala na pwedeng bumili, di ba? So, I just used online and marketed online. And up until now, probably 98% of my sales are online or coming from people that I don't know. Right? So, I uh, posted ads. There were there were inquiries, pero wala akong close. And it took me three and a half months before I made my first sale. It was January 31, 2009. Uh, and in that sale, I computed, this is before I graduated, uh, I computed a 3.4 million condominium with my commission back then, I think mga 2.5%. I would earn 81,000 in that transaction, right? less all the taxes. Um, so when I computed, wow, sabi ko, this is already six months salary kung papasok ako as a supervisor when I graduate. Meron as an IE. I was an industrial engineering student from Adamson University back then. I was finishing that by my research. So sabi ko, parang it makes sense na ito na lang yung gawin ko. Mag five days ko lang tinrabaho, dalawa, tatlong beses kami bumalik sa site and then sinamahan ko sa opisin ng developer two or three times. Ganyan. So five to ten days of work, ito yung kita ko. And kaya ko naman siguro magbenta ng more than one. Yun yung challenge ko sa sarili ko. No? Kasi kung full-time ko ito. So yes, I did full-time. After I graduated, I already had... Before I graduated, I already have two sales. Um, sabi ko, hindi na ako mag-employee. No? So I, I went full-time in real estate and I earned my first million during my first year at age 22. I earned my first million in this industry. And you know what? I never earned below 1 million a year in the industry for the past 12 years. Meaning, kayo rin mismo, yun din yung kaya yung kitain dito. And it all starts with believing. So right now, I'm already telling you that if that's one of your goals, no, if we just to, to earn at least a million a year in this industry, yes, it can happen. But you gotta believe first so your action will follow. Right? So, um, and let's, now let's talk about the topic for today. And we all realize that, you know, we are in a crisis, diba? Because of this pandemic, it's unprecedented. We didn't really expect this to happen. I didn't expect na may mangyayaring ganito in my lifetime. But it happened. Right? So ano ba yung nangyayari? No, because of COVID-19, our lives are affected. Most if not all, um, nabawasan yung income. Sino rito nabawasan yung income? Comment kayo dyan or raise your hand. Like, uh, hit a thumbs up, di ba? Most, if not all, nabawasan yung income. And hindi lang tayo, but also the business, our companies, di ba? Nabawasan talaga yung income kasi halos walang movement eh. For two months, we're in lockdown. So, halos wala talagang kita. And now, the secure jobs are, became uncertain anymore. Became unsecured. Because if the company falters, and if the company is losing money, the best or the fastest way to reduce expenses is through salaries, to cut down salaries, diba? So we are not sure anymore if tomorrow we will be having a job already or still a job. Also, there's concerns of pub um, health and public safety, diba? Um, nakakatakot kahit MECQ na or GCQ sa lugar nyo ay pa rin lumabas. Parang the whole year of 2020, hindi na tayo mag it will never be normal again. I believe so. Even if there's a vaccine that sabi nila closest would be October, um, parang ayo pa rin natin lumabas 100%, di ba? And the impact of this is our savings get depleted. Um, if you have savings, posibleng nabawasan yan or paubos na siya. Kung walang savings, lalo na, ang hirap nito, di ba? Um, so that's a major challenge. Or if nakapag-save ka naman ng maigi, I'm sure nagalaw eh. And yeah, you were saving because for times like this, di ba? Another issue is the issue of mental health. Ang hirap kung wala kang kausap sa bahay or wala kang masyadong ginagawa or masyado kang sociable na tao, gusto mo maraming kausap or may nakakausap face-to-face. -face. Maraming challenges. If you have problems in your finances, lagi yung iniisip yun. So hindi rin siya maganda for our mental health, di ba? But what I like about you guys is you watching your, this video, this webinar, you're attending this, it means that you are looking for something positive and something more progressive in the future. Diba? In reality, this is our, ito yung itsura ng buhay natin ngayon. Diba? If meron kang bucket of water, there's a lot of holes already. 
Kung meron mo pumapasok dyan sa baka quarter na yun, baka konti, maybe some people wala pa nga. So, pwedeng maubos siya nung tiunti because of the bills we still have to pay. We still have to pay Meralco, we still have to pay the water, we have to pay our rent, or if you own a house, you still have to pay the mortgage if nagbabayad ka pa sa bangko. Kailangan mong kumain. Di ba? You still have to do their groceries. Na minsan, nagsasawa ka na rin magluto sa bahay. So, minsan, papagrab ka rin ng pagkain. Di ba? Still have to, to spend. And then you have to buy something for your health. Di ba? Medicines, face mask, alcohol, sabon, Lysol, yung mga ganyan. Di ba? You have to really spend that. And then if you have debts, you still have to pay. So imagine your life through this bucket happening today. Ang daming butas. Anong kailangan mong gawin? Di ba? That could, that's the reality of our lives today. So maybe you're asking yourself, no, okay, this is the reality. You might want to ask, how do I bounce back fast? Anong kailangan kong gawin para makabilis, maka-recover ako kaagad? Because the reality is, no, kung yun yung savings mo lang at yun na lang yung bumubuhay nyo hanggang kailan yan tatagal, what happens if this gets extended? During the first month, I was hopeful, hopeful ay, magkakaroon na yung vaccine na yan. So, siguro after one month, tapos na to. But ngayon, I already feel that the whole year, ganito na. So how do we survive or what do we do moving forward? And maybe, yun nga, the question is, how can I adapt to the new normal? And one of the answers is, you know, doing things digitally. That's why we're doing this orientation. And the reality is you can start doing and learning today and probably make a sale while you're in the comfort of your own home, right? So because what you need to do is hopefully if your job or your business are still running, diba, meron yan, but you can also have or add a new business, right? You can also add a new business to your, um, to your bucket para mas marami yung pumapasok kaysa sa lumalabas. That's always the goal. And then, in the future, you can have other investments so that more money is working for you. Yun yung goal natin. Eh. So, really, the goal, and what I'm teaching you is the goal is to earn more than what you need so that that excess amount you can invest or start a new business and make more money for you. Right? Ang gusto natin, more and multiple streams of income so that kahit maraming palabas kasi hindi matatapos yan, di ba? Uh, sa, sa panahon ngayon, normal yan. Hanggat buhay ka, may gastos. Ganun talaga. I don't know if you realize that it is like a forced retirement or a mini retirement that we're having right now. It should realize, it should make you realize na, am I prepared? You know, just last Sunday, I gave a talk to uh, the IIE. That's an electrical engineering um organization. And I give a talk about financial education, financial planning, because I'm a financial advisor as well. Right? Um, and I told them that, you know, it's just like a mini retirement. Yung, kung magkano na lang yung naipon mo, tirang pera sa'yo, ang tanong hanggang kailan tatagal. Diba? And the, the, the real answer is, most people are not ready or are not prepared if that happens to them. Ang sa'yo, ang tanong ko, ready ka ba? The good news is you're given a second chance. If this is not the end of the world, then you have, this, you have the chance. Actually, it even is a blessing because napakita na sa'yo, uy, kung ganito rin ako pag nag-retire, mga lamang sa malamang, kailangan kong umasa sa ibang tao or kailangan kong magtrabaho kahit retiring age na. And we don't want that to happen. So ngayon pa lang, we have to have a new, more streams of income, more investments working for us. And hopefully, yung, yung sobra dyan, we can help other people, donate to charity, <clears throat> and give tithes, at least 10% of our income. Right? So the mindset and mentality that I want you to have right now is that, yes, there are challenges right now. There are big problems and there's a crisis. And the reality is in every adversity lies a, a big opportunity. You know, my story earlier, 2009, I made my first million. I didn't realize up until now that it was the year right before the crisis, the U.S. subprime mortgage crisis. I didn't know. Um, I was a student back then. 
So hindi ko alam na hirap yung mga tao, wala silang possible pera, or there's a global recession happening, di ba? So even though the Philippines got hit a bit, I didn't know. I just moved forward, look for more opportunities, look for clients. And true enough, probably, kaya mas madali yung buhay noon, marami masyado nagpapahinga, hindi sila kumikilos, di ba? So nung ako kumilos, kukunti yung kalaban. Kasi I've been noticing no, the past two to three years, ang dami na masyadong kalaban. Eh. Ang dami masyad, very bullish no, yung mga tao, ganyan. But right now, this is what I see. Since a lot of people are affected by the crisis, some people will be having a hard time to cope up. Emotionally, mentally, you know. So most people will stop working or doing business. It will take some time to recover. So if you start now and start pulling your resources, right, and learning a lot, and then applying it, probably you'll, there's a big, big chance you'll become really, really successful in this industry. So now let's talk about why is it a good time to do real estate and why it's still good um, to do real estate here in the Philippines. You know, of course, malaki kita rito. Isang benta mo, pwede kang kumita ng six figures. No, there's even an agent of ours. Isang benta, more than one million yung commission. Diba? So malaki yun. Number two, you can contribute to the economy because real estate is still the barometer of any industry. Maraming pamilyang natutulungan sa isang bahay na naitatayot na ibibenta. It gives peace of mind, of course. Kasi, um, Masarap maghanap ng bahay. Ang hirap maghanap ng maghanap ng bahay pa ikot-ikot ka, di ba? So, actually by selling real estate, selling properties, yes, you earn commission, but you're actually helping that family have a peace of mind. Magkaroon na sila ng sarili nilang bahay. Lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Imagine, sabi nila, the best investment right now is your own property where you're living. Bak? Di ba? Kasi, eh, yun yung gamit na gamit mo, number one. No? So, and then it's still stable. Diba? So, right, there's no best time to appreciate real estate than now. Diba? Of course, you have the flexibility of time. We have agents na hindi man millions yung kinikita, but yung kinikita nila nung nag-work sila, ngayon nag-full time na sila, napantay nila yun, they have time for their families. Marami kami mga housewives na they have time for their kids while doing this business. Kung doon nag-grow ka as a person, there's a lot of training that you can attend here and marami akong naklala and driven na Alam mo yun, let's say dati silang working, professional, and then they stop to take care of their family. So parang bumaba na yung, yung, ano, yung self-belief diba, and self-esteem. And by doing real estate and working again, tumaas ulit yung self-esteem. Diba? And of course, it's a very, very rewarding business. Again, this is a business. It's not just an extra income. I hope that when you enter this industry, you realize na negosyo yung pinapasok mo, hindi siya racket lang. So there might be some questions in your mind right now that will there be a property crash? Um, my personal opinion, um, hindi naman siya crash. Prices might go down a bit. Uh, prices might go down a bit because of course there will be some people who will not be able to pay off their mortgage na mako-foreclosed yan. So medyo dadami yung for sale sa market. And then there will be people who will be affected to buy. Kung mas konti yung bibili, probably. No? So, but it will not be a crash because of the fundamentals of the Philippine economy. Right? So, marami pa rin tayong market. So, what happens if prices go down? Um, ang affected lang naman dito yung may mga taong, yung taong mga property na gusto nilang ibenta. Kasi hindi kinat command now their price. Diba? Pag bumaba ang, ang presyo, actually, good for the investors and the new buyers. E kung ikaw ngayon ka mag start at bumaba yung mga presyo, mas panda nga yun, eh. Mas marami kang offeran. Diba? So, mas lalaki yung market kasi people who previously cannot afford, now can afford. Diba? So, the only affected people are those who would want to sell properties. Kasi kahit bumaba yung presyo, kung hindi mo naman ibibenta yan, Ano, walang, walang, wala kang care doon, di ba? Parang you don't really mind if prices will go down. Right? So, um, wala masyadong effect. Maganda pa nga siya for the sellers. 
because you know the prices for the past two to three years has been ridic ridiculously increasing. That feeling ko it's inflated a bit. So kung bababa siya, feeling ko mas tatama pa nga. Kumbaga sa stock market there's correction in this. So okay din siya. Which properties will be greatly affected of this crisis? I believe the the mid market, right? The mid to high mid market, because these are the the market na parang aspirational, pinapangarap mong bilhin. Ngayon ayaw mo muna siyang bilhin, syempre, kasi you would want cash. And the people with the the middle class people affected yung income nila, eh. so hindi mo na sila bibili, you know. But the affordable housing sector will continue to shine. Because wala namang ibang mangyayari kung hindi bibilin pa rin nila yun. Yung mga gusto nila ng, ng mid-end, hindi nila kaya, bababa sila sa affordable. So, you know, because it's a good ratio of instead of rate renting, you own your house. Diba? Um, the high market will be affected, but you know, not much. Sila-sila rin naman nagbibilihan dyan. Diba? So, maybe there will be a slowdown still, but um, some people would still would want to put their money in properties. Lalo na nga, kapag umagsak yung presyo at may pera sila, di bibili sila. Diba? So the way I look at it, because of the, the population of the Philippines, um, nagiging laki yung potential. Kasi kailangan talaga ng titirahan. So it's either ikaw yung bibili or yung investor yung bibili, paparentahan sa'yo. Yun lang talaga yung process. Eh. Di ba? So now let's talk about the reasons why is it a good time to join the real estate business. The first reason is still the housing backlog. As I'm talking about, we have around 5.6 million units na backlog and it could grow up to 12.3 million by 2030 if it's underserved. You know, sa dami ng developments ngayon na tumata yung subdivision and condominiums, pag pinagsama-sama mo silang lahat, hindi sila makaaabot dun sa requirement ng market because of the growing population. Yun yung reality. No, another reason, possibly tourism growth. Ngayon, medyo affected dyan. Pwede mo mabayan. But you know, pag naging okay na ulit, people will still go to the Philippines. Right? Um, because we, we are really a tourist, tourist country. Diba? We are pushing that. And marami rin naman tayong yun nga. Like the Pogos and everything. Diba? Some of the countries are going in here. Diba? Right? So, isang market din yan. And then, the OFW remittances. Um, still, probably it's, it might be affected. There are around 420,000 OFWs um, who went home or are going home this year because of this crisis. But still, there's millions out there who continue to work. Or yung yung mga nag-migrate na pero nagpapadala pa rin ng pera sa Pilipinas. Diba? So we're really an OFW country and they're one of the major drivers of the economy. So, you know, lahat naman tayo kung walang ka mag-anak ng OFW, may kakilala ng OFW, ba? So market sila. Kung may kakilala kang OFW, let's teach them to invest. See, that's one way, you know, we don't just sell. We're actually teaching people that it's good to invest in properties. Yun yung reason natin kung bakit natin ginagawa ito. Diba? The BP industry, we don't really see that it gets affected so much because if countries abroad are affected, probably they would want to reduce their cost and still outsource. No, so this will continue to thrive, sabi ng mga real estate experts. The infrastructure development is good. Build, build, build is still the major flagship prod, uh, project of our present government. So you know, gusto pa rin nila matapos siyang mga yan. And it's good for the economy. Even after the Duterte administration, I'm sure totally to yan kasi may mga nalatag na na foundation. So it's actually exciting to live in the Philippines for the next 30 years because of this um, projects that are happening. Medyo mabagal lang. No? Pero at least there's improvement. Um, so meaning, when there's infrastructure development, real estate will also boom. Diba? Pag may papunta ng road doon sa lugar na yon, yung dating mababa yung presyo, tataas eh. So when there's progress in the economy, kasabay yung properties. 
di ba? Pag nagmahala yung properties, mas malaki rin yung pwede mong kitain. So kasabay lang siya. Another reason is the market is more of end users rather than speculators. Meaning, marami ngayon yung bumibili kasi gusto nilang tumira doon or you know, talagang gusto nilang maging kanila and then rentahan. Before kasi, during the Asian financial crisis, 1997, gusto lang nila bumili and then hopefully tumaas yung presyo then bibenta nila. Laging premature yung market before. Right now, I believe it's right. All, all good things are pointing towards the Philippine economy. Right? So, we're still good in our um, financial ratings. Di ba? So, hindi yan, hindi yan basta-basta titigil because, again, ang dami ng mga drivers of growth ng economy natin. We, we know, I know, because I'm in the financial uh, market industry as well. The banks has been really good. No, um, strict yung approval ng mga loans to really prevent the bubble. Um, ngayon nga, I have experience, I have two mortgages, hindi sila naniningil. Di ba? So, uh, ang ganda, nakatira ka sa bahay tapos hindi sila naniningil, di ba? Or nagpapakenta ka, hindi sila naniningil. So, you know, meaning they have lots of money as well. And, you know, they are playing their part for the economy. Pag-ibig, ang dami rin pera ng pag-ibig. You know, they even lower their rates. So, meaning, um, ang laki ng market, gusto nilang ipautang yung pera, gusto nilang paikuti. Uh, because it's a good business. No? Properties here in the Philippines are, are really good. And then, still, we're still lowest, one of the lowest in Asia in terms of our prices. Even though medyo malaki yung tinaas recently, but still, you know, with our potential, ang laki pa rin ng muna ng properties ng Philippines. I didn't really expect that lalaki siya ng ganito kaagad for the past 10 years, but it did. And there's still room for growth. Right? So, um, before we before we continue before i continue what i would want to do is i want to get a few shares from you what are you getting right so what are you getting here what i'll be doing is i'll be sending you into breakout rooms right the rooms of three people and I want you to share to your team or to the people na magpakilala kayo, ganyan. And kwentuhan kayo, I'll give you just five minutes. What are you learning uh, with this, uh, with, with what I've shared with you? All right, so go ahead. I'll be sending you to your breakout rooms and click join. And then share with these people what are you learning and what are you getting so far. So go ahead, do it now. Ayan. So please go and join. Please go and join. Click join. Ayan. Please click join. Please click join. I'll just give you five minutes. Share what you are learning so far. If you're in, in YouTube, uh, just, you know, reply. And leave a comment. So go ahead. Meron pang mga hindi nag-join. Click join. You might be one or two or two or three gens uh, group nyo. So yeah, I will I will move some of you. Ayan. Para magkasama kayo. Ayan.
So for those who are you in YouTube, let me know what are you learning so far. Leave a comment in the comment section. We want to know what are you learning. And hello there. Thank you for watching. And again, we're here orient to orientation natin about real estate and how to be part of Driven. So last one minute for those who are in breakout room. So dun sa mga nanood sa YouTube, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Ayan. So I hope you're liking this presentation. And don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel for more presentations like this. Okay. So we'll last one minute for people to come back here. So what are you learning so far? Again, if you're learning a lot, don't forget to you know share this to your friends in Facebook or in all your social media platforms. Go ahead and do it. We would really appreciate it and tag them. And so we're just waiting for people to come back. In 19 seconds, we should be starting. So also, for those who are na, back, um, leave a comment in the chat box. I'll be reading your comments. No, sabi ni... Yeah, sabi ni Dr. Jessa, um, I want I'm interested in real estate businesses, especially now there is COVID. How does it work? And Jesse wants to learn new sales strategies. Sabi ni Lenny, monthly incentives decreased since ECQ. <laughs> Totoo yan. Uh, yeah, sabi ni June, if Vietnam and Taiwan is co are COVID-free, we can do it too as well. All right, so what are you learning? Please comment in the chat box. I want to read that. In a while. Ayan, so we are all here. Sige, so sabi ni Faustina, additional learning, additional income as well. That's good. Sige, so in a while, I'll go back to that. But let me go back to my slides to talk about who is driven and how we can help you. So let me just show you our company, Driven Marketing Group. We are already 10 years in the real estate business this year. We started May 2010 and we turned 10 years two days ago or three days ago. Right, our main office is in Mandaluyong. It's near EDSA. Right, it's near EDSA. And these are our contact details. All right, so you can have a screenshot. This is our website. And we have, you know, we have created over 80 millionaires. 
Wait, let, me, let me get it back first. Let me get back my audio. Okay. Sorry for that. Can you hear me? Let me see if you can hear me. Yeah, nawalan niya ako ng audio kanina. And then I will... Here, sir. Uh, Here, thank sir. you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the feedback. I'll mute it all para hindi marinig sa background. Okay, ganyan talaga pag live. May mga konting technical difficulties. Okay, so here's our website. You can also check that. Um, and we're also very active in Facebook. And yeah, we have created over 80 millionaires and counting, probably more than 80 already. We've lost count na yung mga bagong nadagdag. Ganyan. And our vision is really to be a growth player in the marketing and uh, management and even development industry. We want to go and develop properties as well in the near future. And that's why we're adding up different businesses aside from from this, no, from property marketing. And we are able to do that when we empower people like you uh, to really, you know, to, for you to learn and earn a lot, of a lot of money in this business. And of course, to, to, to create you as the best agents that, that you can so that you can service or we can service our clients as uh, the best way that we can. Right? We want you to get your dreams here in Driven. Right? We want you to really make good money here because there's a, there's a lot of people who are making good money. Uh, in order for you to be successful, you got to have our core values, which is being determined to achieve your personal growth. You want to grow regularly um, and every single day, learning and applying that, being responsible and giving quality service. Right? So um, making sure that you're here not just to make commission or just to close the sale, but you really are committed to give that good service to your clients. Diba? Yun yung goal natin. And then, of course, be on, being innovative and flexible and addressing the needs of our clients and then being versatile in any given situation wherein may mga chances kasi na holiday, nag-work tayo kasi doon available si client. Minsan, gabi, minimit. Meron kaming ganung case. no Minit yung client sa may lobby ng hotel, tapos naging cash buyer, mga ganyan. Diba? Maybe, na right now, we can do virtual tripping, kahit mga pictures, pictures muna. Kasi, who would have thought, maraming bibili ng property ako. Iniisip ko, baka isa, dalawa lang kung makaka-close. Pero, nakaka-close na ng almost 10 properties a month na rin tayo ulit. Probably more than 10 na tayo this month. So, may mga bumibili kahit nila napupuntahan yung property. Diba? As long as the agent is trustworthy talaga, uh, and, you know, ma-feel nila na service talaga yung ibigay nito. And last not the least, you gotta have that entrepreneurial mindset. Meaning, um, again, negosyo ito. Hindi dapat to extra income lang. Pagpapasok ka, if you wanna be successful in this industry, dapat isipin mo, gusto mong kumita talaga ng malaki. Uh, because this is a business. Lagi mo sasabihin sa sarili mo, negosyo ito. No? Hindi ito extra income. Ganon. Kasi kung extra income lang inisip mo, makabenta ka ng isa, dalawa in a year, pwede na. No? na Yung amura, ganun. Probably you will earn 30,000 per unit, 60,000 a year, 5,000 a month yun. Yun lang kikita mo, maybe lower. Pero kung seryoso ka rito, you would want to make millions in this career. Gagawin mo yung lahat para kumita ka. Then, um, you, that's what you will get. Because that's the only thing that I see that made successful people in real estate successful. No? Talagang seryoso sila. Al yun ang goal nila talaga. Kumita ng at least 1 million a year. Yung iba, more than that. Diba? So, ginagawa talaga yung trabaho. So, we have focus areas. We are focusing on Metro Manila. We have teams in Cavite, Laguna, and Bulacan. This is our focus areas. Um, and then... Um, we have branches in Pampanga, Batangas, and Rizal. No? So separate yung bilangan ng sales nila dyan, but we have teams there as well. May different parang mga heads 
no in Pampanga, may head in Batangas and Rizal. So Mega Manila yung focus ni Driven. Um, our main office is in Mandaluyong, so we really want to sell a lot of properties in Metro Manila. And then this this province is malakas din naman siya. Ganun. So ang style, if you will ask, if you will ask me, um, kung taga Metro Manila ka, you focus on Metro Manila and then find one province. Wag mo ibenta lahat, may irapang kay. So find one province, one area na gusto mong idagdag. Kunyari, Metro Manila and then Cavite. No, so, ganun lang. Do not spread yourself too thin. Mahirap yun. Ganun. So, paano ba kumita ito sa Driven? Merong four ways. No? We have project selling, we have FSBO or for sale by owner. Yung mga nagpapabenta ng property, pwede rin yun. We have yung listing agent. Yung ikaw yung kukuha ng mga listing um, so either for sale or for lease, pwede yun. Or leasing. Meron mga ilan din tayong properties na handle natin for lease. Here in Metro Manila nga lang. Diba? Yun. Yung mga nagpapabenta naman, we would want 5 million and above. No? Kasi masyadong matrabaho documentation ito compared to project selling. No? But for this orientation, we'll be focusing on project selling muna. Meaning yung mga galing sa developers. Right. Kasi madali lang naman pag-usapan yung mga other things. No? Pwede nyo itanong sa mga broker nyo, sa mga taong nag-invite sa inyo. Right. So with project selling, this is the, the rates. <clears throat> Entry level after attending this orientation, you can get 2% commission sa first two sales mo yun. And then sa third sale and succeeding sales, 2.5% yung commission mo. Right. Kung an official member ka, no, meaning yung Gusto ko tayo, kasi namin talagang masala kung sino talaga yung seryoso o yung parang magpapasok lang ng isang benta kasi may bibili sa kanya. I don't like that. Eh. Uh, in reality, dapat may lisensya ka rin or part, yun nga, you're registered in PRC. Yun talaga yung requirement. Eh. No, so, the official members, ang kailangan mong gawin, makompleto yung driven passport. Kahit wala ka pang benta, 2.5% ka na kagad. And then your third sale onwards will be 3%. Later, I'll show you ano ba yung tri, uh, driven passport. Ito yun. no So sa Driven Passport, meron siyang checklist ano yung kailangan mong matapos. So after this orientation, our HR will get in touch with you. You have to add her in Facebook. Ang pangalan niya sa Facebook, Ancherina Reyes. No? So kailangan mo siyang i-add and then bibigay niya sa iyo to yung mga requirements. PKS is Product Knowledge Seminar. no So matend ka kailangan ng project na project orientation. Ganun, para mat matutunan mo yun. Number two, kailangan mo mag-site orientation or mag-site visit. No? Pwedeng the same project, pwedeng ibang project. But that's really part of the training. And actually, one of the most important training, yung nakakapunta ka sa site na binibenta mo. Diba? So, medyo challenge ngayon, no? pero that's fine. Alam mo, pwede namang makalabas anytime soon. Ayan. So, you can also have a few visits sa mga sites. On your own or minsan organized driven. Pero ngayon, we recommend on your own. No? Commune mo or drive ka papunta doon. Uh, and then view the project para at least when you're selling it, you know saan ang location, you know anong itsura, di ba? And even pag nalit mo yung, mga, yung developer, at least you'll be more confident and comfortable selling a certain project. Right? Number three, you gotta have a meeting with your broker. One-on-one -on -one kayo, either via Zoom, Facebook, or whatever, or face-to-face. -face. Basta dapat magkaroon kayo ng meeting. Kasi this, your broker will give you assignment saan kayo dapat mag-focus. No? They know better. Right? So they will guide you. Yun yung role nila. And sometimes they will also train you. Diba? Number four, you need to have your own One Property Ads. One Property is a website. It's a it's an ads portal. It's an ads portal wherein you can post properties and you can even have your own microsite. Meaning meron kang website. For example, oneproperty.com slash DJ Dimaliwat. Pwede kang magkaroon ng ganun. Diba? So it's a free website that you can have. So meaning, pag meron kang client, eh, tas yung mga ads mo, pwedeng yun na lang yung ibibigay mo kasi naghahanap pa siya. Yung may mga ads na meron ka. So we want you to have that. You gotta also create your own Facebook page. We have a separate training for that, pero madali lang din naman gumawa nun. Um, probably soon, I'll be running uh, training on yun nga, um, how to market some of the properties. But the right way, no, not the technical way, but of course, uh, the marketer's way. And then number six, you attend Driven Trends. So we are having Driven Trends once a month. Yun, um, actually, ngayon, it online, we have that. So kailangan mo lang matapos to, you'll become an official member. Meaning nakita talaga kasi namin, committed ka. Hindi yung attend ka lang orientation and then 
ganun na kagad, di ba? Pero pwede ka na mag-start magbenta at mag, mag-offer kasi hindi naman ganun kadali. Hindi naman agad bibili yung mga kino-offeran mo, mga kakilala mo, eh, di ba? So, while completing these things, um, you also start looking for prospects. Another thing that you want to to, lo- to know is itong assisting system. This is a very powerful system na sinimula na driven and other companies has been copying it, even the developers. So, paano yun? Kunyari, you're abroad or malayo ka dun sa lugar na yun and then meron kang uh, benta or tripping. Pwede mo siyang ipa-assist sa kapwa mo driven night. Di ba? And then, you will still get commission. Siya rin, magkakaroon din siya. So, kunyari lang 3% ka, di ba? Pag nagpa-assist ka, may nakita ko dito taga-Kalamba, di ba? So let's say taga-Kalamba ka, meron kang buyer, for example, taga-Imus, may nakita rin ako taga-Imus. Imus yung property, in mo siya for some reason, nagustuhan mo siya or alam mo yung lugar, nag-advertise ka. May naging interested, sinagot mo, in-entertain mo, tapos naiyaya mo mag-tripping, di ba? So during tripping, dahil malayo sa'yo, hindi mo na nasamahan. So yung letter A, non-appearance of seller during tripping, tapos yung documentation kasi hindi lang po yan hanggang reservation no kunyari ibang araw pa nagreserve um and then pagka reserve may mga documents ka pang kokolektahin minsan kung dahil mo pa sa opisina or sa bahay ganyan may trabaho din yun no so hindi lang one day lang ginagawa si let's say si assisting seller na rin tumrabaho no so when that happens si assisting seller will get 1.5% whatever your rate is kay 2% ka 2.5 or 3% 1.5% no kunta kay assisting seller So imagine if you're 3%, panghati kayo. Ganun yung mangyayari. And then there are other scenarios, kunyari hindi ka kasama sa tripping, sa unang tripping, and then yung documentation, ikaw yung umayo, so lesser yung assisting rate, 1% lang. Pero namang times na kasama ka during tripping, pero dahil malayo sa'yo, sa kanya mo na pinaasikaso, so 1% din yun. Or yung gusto mo mag-tripping, ikaw rin mag-aasikaso, pero hindi ka confident kasi baka may mga questions na hindi mo masagot. Tapos merong taong nakafocus doon, nagpa-assist ka kasi kanaging kaibigan mo, umattend ng training, nakilala mo na siya or maybe part ng broker group mo, so nakita-kita mo na siya, alam mong sa kanya pwede magpa-assist, so sinamahan ka niya, meron siyang, alam mo, hindi naman libre yan, di ba? Hindi naman lagi libre. Ganun kasi, mamamahe din yan or what. Bibigyan natin siya ng 0.5% rate. So kada benta na report yan para malaman ng broker mo kung anong rate yung dun sa assisting. But usually we use 1.5. No? Pag walang usahan, 1.5 yan automatically. Ano. Example niyan, kunyari 1 million yung nabenta no? no? 3%, no sa 3% na commission, so 30,000 'yon. Syempre, again, before taxes pa to, no, para lang madaling computein sa 30,000, think 15,000 kayo doon sa unang scenario kasi 1%, 1.5% tayo, 1.5% sa assisting. No, and then so on. Right? So, you can screenshot this uh, this page and then, you know, um, learn about it or you can ask about it with your broker, alam nila sagutin. Alright, so pag-usapan natin yung role mo as an agent dito sa negosyo na to. Kasi hindi naman yung basta, kakala natin, benta-benta lang eh. Hindi ganun. Pag nag-reserve, yun yung problema. Minsan kaya nasisira yung pangalan ng mga agents kasi akala nila pag nag-reserve, tapos na eh. Hindi po ganun, no? Ito po yung mga step-by-step. Step. Let's say, nag-inquire, napatripping mo, nag-reserve. Pagka reserve, hindi mo siya iwanan lang. At in reality, hindi ka rin naman makakakomisyon doon. ba? Diba? So, first step, pagka reserve, next step, usually, it's required that they submit all the other requirements kasi hindi naman din madadala agad dyan sa unang punta within 30 days. Right? May mga developers na nagka-cancel ng reservation pag hindi siya within 30 days. No, meron namang iba hindi, medyo maluwag. No, pero we recommend within 30 days kasi pag lipas ng 30 days, nakakalimutan na ng client na mawala yung excitement, hindi niya nasasubmit. So, na-forfeit yung reservation, ganun. Or minsan, may meron ka ng advance commission, hindi natin makuha kasi kulang-kulang yung requirements. So, ang wala sa step na to, medyo shortened, shortened version to yung pagbabayad ng down payment. no Kung two years to pay yung down payment or three years to pay, they still have to complete that and finish that. Pag nakompleto na yung down payment, tsaka tayo pumunta na sa step three. No? Tsaka ang magsasubmit si developer ng loan to the financing institution kung pag-ibig man yan or banko. ba diba? So, kaya kailangan mabayaran mo na yung down payment kasi kung hindi, hindi nila makaprocess yung loan. Ganon. After that, si bank, 
or si pag-ibig, mag issue ng letter of guarantee or notice of approval. So, minsan hanggang loan takeout na, meaning mababayaran na. No? So, may time frame yan, no? mula sa pag letter of guarantee, to transfer yung title, tsaka maloloan takeout, magkakabayaran. No? Yung wala ka ng utang sa developer, may utang ka na dun sa banko or kay pag-ibig. After that, pag may notice of approval na or letter of guarantee or take out na yung loan, sila na nag-uusap dyan. Pag ready to turn over na kasi nakatayo na rin yung bahay, may schedule kayo ng punch listing ng unit. Ako, sinasamahan ko yung mga clients ko, lalo na kung nung konti pa yung uh, clients ko. Di ba? Kasi pwede ka makahingi ng referral and matututo ka din. Di ba? Na ganun pala dapat pag nagka-punch listing. Di ba? So, may mga clients ako nasamahan during their punch listing. Um, yun, so checking kung, ano, kung may mga sira, kung okay na ba, yung pintura, ganyan, yung tiles. So you check that. Pag hindi pa, pag may kailangan na ipagawa, ibabalik na kay developer yun. Pag, tapos they will deliver it on another date. Diba? Pagkatapos nun, ibibigay na yung susi and then you can already start moving in. Yung step 6. That's the only time you can really get the full commission. Right? So hindi po biro rin ang pagiging real estate agent it's really a commitment. It's really a service, giving service to your clients. No? So, again, hindi naman lahat ng kliyente mas namaha mo dyan hanggang dun sa punch listing. But, you know, make sure they submit the documents. No? Kasi ganito yan, kung nag-submit na ng documents during reservation, kung after one year, two years, three years pa yung loan, maghihingi din po ulit ng updated requirements yung developer kasi kailangan is updated payslip, updated uh, certificate of employment, ganyan. So, kailangan you're in contact with your buyer. No? Para pag hindi siya makontact ng developer, sana friends kay sa Facebook para diba, ma-add mo, ma-follow up mo. Kasi doon ka makakakomisyon. So, hindi po tayo dapat pinabayaan natin yung kliyente natin. Ganun. So, this is a very, very important process. Before, we used to do to give this training sa separate training, pero nakakalimutan yata. Ngayon pa lang, gusto ko nang sabihin sa inyo, ito po talaga yung trabaho ng real estate agent. ba? Para kung gusto nyo tumagal sa industry na to at kumita ng malaki, and ma-feel ng mga kliyente nyo, talagang nandun kayo para tumulong. Maganda na itindihan nyo na to. Alright, so, ano bang requirements to be part of driven? We really need your TIN para sa commission. We cannot process your commission if you don't have a TIN. We need your valid IDs. Pwedeng to follow yung NBI clearance, we would need that because we already have some experiences na hindi rin okay yung background ng agent. So we really need that. Uh, and then, of course, you need to be interviewed by your broker. Mag-usap kayo, anong plano nyo, ganyan. Kasi iba-iba talaga. No? And then, if you want to be a registered PRC um, salesperson, you got to be at least second year college level. So again, talk to your broker for any concerns. Right? So, ano bang advantage being with Driven? Meron tayong physical office, di ba? Pag magpapasok ka ng benta sa isang broker, dapat may opisina. Um, marami na kasi ako narinig na kwento, nagpasok sa kaibigan, na in-house, ganyan. Tapos, pag after three years, lalabas ng commission, hindi niya na makita. Nagkap yun eh, pag sa tao ka lang nagpasok, di ba? So, at least sa opisina, di ba? Mawala man yung broker mo, nandiyan pa rin yung opisina. Ganun yun. No? So, the, the office will really take care of you. May mga three vehicles tayo. May schedule yan for Cavite, Laguna, and Bacan. And Metro Manila, there are also some schedules. We also have innovative training development uh, and department. You know, we, we continuously improve our training. Ngayon nga, nag, nag na tayo online. We're having a lot of training online as well. And we, you know, we adapt to change. Um, Algorithm ng Facebook, nagbabago, ng Property24, One Property, we try to learn all those things um, para maituro rin sa inyong lahat. We also have exciting incentive programs, ganyan, on a month basis and on, on an annual basis. We have regular company events. Yan, usually kapag anniversary, we have the bowling tournament. Hindi, wala lang yan ngayon. So maybe next year na ulit babalik. But you know, it's really fun to be part of the event. And I hope pag nandito ka, you know, you really commit and give 100%. Hindi lang during bentahan, but also some of the events natin. Again, we have young and dynamic leaders. We, we adapt to the changes that's happening in the industry. And of course, we have our Driven Foundation. It's really re registered. It's called Driven Cares Pinoy, Pinoy Foundation, Inc. Um, we're in part of the income of the company. Uh, every time you sell, we... We 
flow it back to the foundation, right? And we help usually kids and schools. Ganun. So my question is, do you see yourself as part of Driven? If yes, kindly comment. Comment yes or yes, I am. Uh, I see myself. Go ahead and type in the chat box or in the comment section that where you're watching this. And my question is, do you want to earn 30,000 to 150,000 every month? Because that's what people is earning here in Driven. Sometimes even more. Right? So it's something that you want. The only formula is this. You got to sell consistently 1 million to 5 million worth of properties every month. So let's, let's take it one step at a time. If you want to earn a million a year, Tignan mo lang siya. Ganto ko lang siya tinignan eh. Kung makakabenta ako every month, on this average, may mga months may benta ako 1 million, 2 million, may months benta ako 5 million, minsan 8 million, minsan 10 million, ganun. ba? So, ang mahalaga consistency. Kasi okay naman yung may big sale ka or 40 million, may nakakabenta niyan. Pero kaya lang, pag once a year, ba nakakakaba, minsan masisiro ka. Pero if you have that balance na may high-end ka, and then you can consistent 1 million, 2 million, 3 million budget properties every month meron ka. Nagkaw accumulate yun. For me, that's what happened. The reason why I became consistent in this industry is while I'm waiting for the big or for the big fish, no, I continuously cooking and you know um, fishing for the small fish. Kasi iba yung every month may benta, di ba? So that's what you need to do. Um, and we have a lot of success stories here in Driven. I don't know if there are some agents here. Let me, you know, check our participants. Pakwentohin lang natin yung mga nandidito. Sino bang mga, ba? Puro mga new, new, ano, new attendees. And nandiyan ba si Cheryl? Cheryl, can you comment if you have an audio. So, malama kung may audio si Cheryl. Cheryl, broker Cheryl is quite new and driven, but, you know, marami siyang benta recently. Wala, nawala si broker Alvin. Eh. Siya yung pwede natin yung pa-share rin eh. The rest are, the names that I'm seeing are well, new, all new participants or quite new driven. So welcome to driven. Right. Hindi yata ako naririnig ni Cheryl. No? Mukhang wala siya yan. Anyway, I'll share with you my screen again. I'll show you some of the success stories like this. As you can see, you know, the, um, the agents are taking pictures of their clients pag nakaka-close sila kasi maganda rin yung sa social media di ba mga lalaman ng friends nyo so if you ask permission uh, bukod doon nakikita nyo dyan masaya sila di ba masaya yung mga kliyente na bumibili sila so ang message ko lang is huwag kayong mahiya na kumikita kayo ng pera pag nakakabenta kayo kasi ganun talaga eh you're helping people if the mentality is you're here to help and they need and they want the product that you are selling. And then, wala dapat reason para matakot or mahiya. Ganyan. No? So, be proud every time you make a sale, you share it in your timeline, and probably you'll attract more buyers. Actually, we also use this if you have a Facebook page, let's say, dedicated sa isang project. Pwede mong i-post doon. Ako, that's what I do. I post in my website. I post in my my Facebook page. Right now, I would even do vlogs. No, Mag-video siguro ako. I-video ko si client. Nagpapasalamat. Kasi, ano yun eh? Maganda yung mileage for me, di ba? Marketing yun. Ganun. So, pag may nakanood, mabibuild yung trust sa akin. Kasi ang hirap bumili online. One way to make sure that people will buy from you online, especially mga hindi mo kakilala dito sa property, is you show them your face. You show them that they can trust you. That anytime that they need you, hindi, hindi ka, makahanap ka nila. Alam mo, kahapon may kachat ako, no? nag-inter sa akin, hindi sa akin bumili. Tapos nagtatanong ngayon, hindi na daw niya makontak ang agent niya from one developer. Sabi niya tuloy, sa daw sa akin nilang siya bumili. Sabi ko, ma'am, okay lang kasi yung binili mo, hindi ko yan pinofocus. Kasi alam ko may problema, ganyan. 
dito. So, siguro kaya talaga siya bumili. But anyway, um, ako, maybe kaya nung 21 years old ako, nakabenta na ako ng marami. I'll share you this secret. My only weapon is, alam ko, I'm the best agent for this client. Kasi alam ko hindi ako aalis, alam ko hindi ako tatakbo, alam ko hindi ko siya lolokohin. And hindi ako aalis sa industry na to. Right now, I'm with Film Life, I'm seven years in the financial uh, uh, financial industry, but I'm still with Driven. I'm still doing real estate. I'm 12 years here. So, alam mo yun, even though I'm doing other businesses, hindi ako mawawala sa industry na to. That's my promise to my clients and to myself. And because of that, probably, ang dami kong nabenta rin talaga. And continuously, I know I can sell a lot of of properties because I know I can commit to my clients. Right? I'll share with you these top sellers, no? some of the top earners last year. One seller who joined 2013, part-time, doing this part-time, I think nag-full-time lang siya about two years ago. Pero kahit part-time siya, mas pag siya. Lagi dito sa real estate, hindi to part-time or full-time. Eh, dito, kung ginagawa mo talaga yung dapat gawin. So this seller is made 2 million, more than 2 million last year in this industry. Ang real estate kasi, kung nakita nyo, di ba, kanina, medyo mabagal yung income sa simula. No? Kasi hindi mo agad ma- mapepera, eh, di ba? Ano eh, depende kung nagbabayad ng down payment, so dapat natutulungan mo yung kliyente mo, dapat nakakalipat sila. So, isa sa mga first few years, pag dinamihan mo yung benta mo, may ipon lang sila. Pero darating din sila. Kung hindi ka titigil magbenta, magpapatong-patong yan. Ganun yung nangyari sa mga sellers na to. Yung, yung seller na nag-join ng 2017, ito naman taon to na nakapokus sa high-end. So, marami rin siyang benta, pero nakaka-close din siya ng malalaki. Tapos nag assist pa siya. Yun. So, she earned 1.7 million last year. Ito namang si number 3 seller, nag-join ng 2012. Ito talaga, ultra part-time talaga to. As in, bihira mo makita sa office. No? Pero, yan, meron pa rin siyang 780,000 last year. No, kasi yun nga, nag, mag, lumalabas yung mga komisyon na naibenta ng The Pass. So kahit medyo mababa yung benta last year, umikita pa rin. Ito namang si seller na nag 2016. Last year actually wala siyang benta. Ito nakakatawa. Wala siyang benta last year kasi sobrang busy sa work. In fact, meron kaming trip to Bacol, trip to Cebu, qualified siya, hindi siya nakasama. Kasi sobrang busy sa work. <laughs> Ganun. Pero naglabasan yung mga komisyon last year. So 741,000. Another seller, ito naman, 2018 lang siya nag-join. Noong 2018, hindi siya nakafocus, so hindi siya nakabenta. Pero last year, siya yung top seller. No? Top seller siya ng driven last year. Pero hindi siya yung top earner. No? Kasi hindi pa pumapasok lahat, lahat ng commission. Pero meron na agad siyang 617,000. So last year lang siya nakabenta, nakakomission na rin siya. So kung dadamihan mo yung benta mo, malaki rin naman yung kikitain mo. Plus, may ipon ka. Yun yung maganda dito sa industry na to. Natuturuan ka rin niyang mag-ipon. Huwag ka lang titigil magbenta kasi pag nag-focus ka sa komisyon, huwag kang mag-focus sa komisyon. Darating yan as long as sinutulungan mo yung, pra- yung clients mo, ganyan. Kasi ang problema ng maraming agents, ganito, hintay sila lang hintay ng komisyon, nafufrustrate sila, ayaw na benta kasi wala pa. Eh, paano nga kung wala pa talaga, di ba? Eh, kung minsan, nagpa-follow up sila ng komisyon, hindi nakabackout na pala yung client, hindi na pala nagbabayad, di ba? So, kung aalagaan mo yung kliyente mo, lalabas komisyon. Ganun lang, maniwala ka lang. No? Kasi nangyayari yan talaga. So, DJ, gusto ko rin yan. Ano bang kailangan kong gawin? Diba? Excited na ako. Paano, bang, paano ba yan? Ito lang yung secret. You focus on one to three projects or one to three developers. You, you know, we have more than 100 projects. Maybe a thousand projects in Driven. You don't need to sell them all. That's, that's crazy. No? Dapat gawin mo trabahong in-house. Yung in-house, yung mga nagtatrabaho sa developer yung may sweldo. Nakafocus lang yon One, two, or three projects. Minsan nga yung iba, one lang eh. Pero nakakabenta sila. Di ba? Ano bang gusto mo? Maraming project o maraming benta? Di ba? So ganun. Dapat trabahong in-house. Active. Nakafocus. Kabisado. Pero kung sakaling yung client talagang ayaw dun sa pinupush mo na projects, may iba tayong option. That's the only time you will offer other options. At least hindi makakawala sa'yo kung naaalaga mo talaga yung kliyente. Yun yung style dito. No? So, hindi rin mahirap. Ako, guys, kaya ako nakabenta lagi. May, ako, favorite ko, isang project lang ako. Meron akong isang main project na gusto kong mag-top seller. Tapos probably meron akong two to three other extra projects na medyo alam ko lang on the side, backup ko lang. Tsaka backup ko lang din yung pag naubos na yung main project ko. Parang ganun. 
Pero lagi ako may main project at lagi ako maraming benta. Ganun yung ginagawa ko. Gusto ko isang. Sa, para rin akong part-time. Ang dami kong ginagawa. I manage people. I do training. Um, hindi ko rin kaya magkabisado ng marami. Pero ang ginagawa ko dun sa isang project or dalawang project or isang developer na focus ko, tinutodo ko lahat. May website ako, may, may videos ako, lahat ng ads online, Facebook, etc. That's what I do. Kasi mas madali yun. Sobrang kabisado mo. Pag may nag-it corn, excited ka. Ganun. Anyway, more on that on the future training. Maghanap ka rin ng mga good deals. No? Yung, kasi pag matagal ka rito, mas maintindihan mo na, uy, ito okay ito. Ha, kasi mura to sa lugar na to. O mura to sa, sa itsura niya. Ganyan. Diba? Yun yung mga good deals. Yung alam mong maganda pero mura. One example, in, in one developer, we're selling yung Elliston Place. 2.5 million siya, pero general yes. No, Ang ganda ng townhouse, three bedrooms, may parking, may gate, ganon. 2.5 million. So, ang daming benta, but medyo nag-slow down recently. And then this developer just opened Emus. So, sa mga takabite, tignan nyo to. Hamilton Place, Emus. 2.8 million lang. The same itsura ng bahay, probably the same size or mas maliit ng konti, pero mas malapit siya sa Manila. So imagine, kung ako yung seller, ako ko yung lugar, at may nagbukas na mas malapit, tapos almost kapresyo lang, alam kong good deal siya. So I'll be excited to sell that. Alam ko yung mga dating nag inquire sa akin na ayaw yung Elliston kasi malayo, o offer ko lang ulit nung mas malapit. Parang ganun. Diba? So you just need to post talaga. Hindi ka pwedeng sabog. And then prospecting. You know, We say in Driven, 90% of your time should be in prospecting. KKK, yung mga kakilala mo, lahat. Ofera mo sila, huwag kang maghintay. Anong i-offer mo? Yung focus project mo. Paano kung ayaw niya yon? O tsaka ka maghahanap ng iba? At least alam mo kung ano yung i-offer mo. Ganun dapat. ba? Diba? Yun. You also do online ads regularly. Um, huwag puro Facebook. You also look for other ways. And then you ask for referrals. Diba? Lahat ng matitripping mo or lahat ng offer mo na hindi bibili or ayaw pa, hindi pa ready. Okay lang ask for referrals. Ang hindi ko nang ilagay dito sa slides na to, you keep a database because 5% will buy now, 95% will buy later. Maybe next month, 3 months from now, 6 months from now, 1 year from now, 2 years from now, even 3 years from now. Nag-shopping pa lang sila. Ay, nag-window shopping pa lang sila. Pero nag-inquire na. So, kailangan, pag ready na silang bumili, kilala ka pa rin nila. So, kailangan may database ka, ina-update mo sila once in a while. We have a separate training for that. And this is what you can do. You can screenshot this, this, ano, this um, slide. And then you can post this in your Facebook. At least alam lang muna ng friends mo, hindi ka secret agent. No? Na, Oy, I'm already a real estate salesperson of Driven and I can help you find a house or condo kung saan ka nakafocus. And then, lagay mo dito, I'm focusing in the, let's say, Metro Manila area or Quezon City area. Pwedeng specific pa nga na doon. Or University Belt area. Or Cavite area. Lagay mo lang siya. Or Bulacan. Or Laguna area. Yan yung ilagay mo. Para at least alam nila. No? And you can post this once a month. Baka kasi hindi yun nila nakita yung post mo. Di ba? Huwag kang mag-assure. Alam na nila. Ganon. O no? visit ka ng property, i-post mo ulit ito. At least alam nila on, eto nag-visit ako hanggang sa makilala nila kasi alam mo guys, ang dami ko sisisi, hindi ko inoferan yung mga klase ko, 'di ba? Ang tagal ko na rito. So yes, no 21 kami, wala pa kaming pambili. Pero after five years, no naging 26 na kami, may mga pambili na dapat pala tong mga to. So nung namin ito sila, after mga five years or more, may bumili na sa Taguig, sa DMCI, may bumili sa Shangri-La. Sabi ko pa din sa akin bumili, eh, hindi naman daw nila alam. So imagine na, sobrang active ko na nagbebenta ako, puro online benta ko. Hindi alam ng mga kakilala ko na nagbebenta pa rin ako. ba? Diba? So dahil lang hindi ako nag-offer. So sila yung, may, alam mo, bibili ang tao ng bahay. Bibili sila. Ang tanong lang, kailan? So hintayin mo lang. Dapat nandun ka lagi. ba? Diba? So again, 90% of your time should be in prospecting. And then, Continuously learn. The another 10%, you attend training, you attend PKS, which is Product Knowledge Seminar, you attend Site Orientation, you attend Driven Trends, you attend Dream, yung training natin. We have that, I believe, monthly. Continuously learn, grow yourself in this industry. 
attend training outside, learn about the economy, about investing. No, kasi some of the clients kailangan mo sa turuan mag-invest, ganun. So we can do that. Right? So my question is, are you excited to start now? Sino rito excited mag-start sa Driven? You can leave a comment. Di ba? Ano bang next step ko, DJ? Ano bang kailangan kong gawin? Ang next step mo, actually, add mo lang yung broker mo sa Facebook para mag-usap kayo. And then ask this person to add you dun sa Facebook group niya. So lahat ng brokers, usually they maintain their own Facebook group. Tapos may like sa group ko, meron akong step-by-step doon. Tinatag ko na lang yung new recruit diba? para basahin niya yun. Yung kailangan mangyari. And then you have to schedule that interview one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and once in a while, kahit nakapag-interview na kayo, mag-usap kayo ulit. Diba? Register your one property account. No? Um, ask your broker for the link going to one property. No, so, and para mag-guide niya rin kayo. And of course, continuously prospecting. Alam mo dito sa negosyo na to, you can never say you're ready. Basta mag-prospect ka lang, pag may tanong sila, hindi mo masagot, natututo ka nun. Diba? Magtatanong ka sa broker mo. Eh. Ano, paano ba sagutin to? Ganyan, ganyan. Ito yung tanong eh. Okay, sige. So next time, alam mo na siya sagutin. Kung wala kang kliyente, hindi ka matututo. Ganon. So talagang ang trabaho rito, mag-prospect, mag-prospect, mag-prospect. Right? So it's about time for question and answers. If you have questions, drop in your questions in the comment section or in the chat box. I want to know. Right? So I'll give this time for the question and answer. Use the chat box so that I'll be able to read. So mga nanonood sa YouTube, hello there. Okay, sige. So, if you have questions, please, please, please put in there. Ayan, dami nagsasabi ng yes, mga excited, ganyan. Meron ako nakitang question. Eh, no? so, sabi ni Mon, I see myself being part of this very dynamic group. Sabi ni Grace, yeah, I see myself as part of Cleveland. Sino, anong pangalan ni, ano, ni 888? Please splash. Again, the requirements for driven L tour agent. What do you mean requirements? Ay mga tin, no tin, valid ID, and be clearance interview with your broker. Right, so yun yung mga requirements natin. See, yeah, and at least second year college level if you want to be registered under PRC. Sabi ni Elaine, yes, I see myself and I want to be part of Driven. Excited daw si Edita, si Judy, Faustina, yeah. Okay, so Grace and Marciano, yes. So after this, when we will need to get in touch with the broker who invited us, right? Yes. So get in touch with the person who invited you, mag-usap kayo. And number two, um, so add Ann Sherina Reyes in Facebook. I'll put it here in the chat box. Yan, add FB account, Anshirina Reyes. Yan. She will, ang pakilala yun, she will add you. We have a separate group kasi for driven rookies. Dun sa mga bagong pasok this year, you will be added in that group. The training that will be provided on you and then some of your questions. Dun sa grupo na yun. We have a main group kasi na yung mga nakabenta na or yung mga naka two sales na ganyan no words doon natin sila nililipat so parang gagraduate kayo doon ganon ayan yan yung link ni Ann sabi ni Jessica can we also have a copy of the presentation earlier it's it's recorded in YouTube already so you can go to my YouTube channel there's actually dalawang record na yata and the future recordings will be there as well so you can you know, check and check. That's what I do para kung gusto nyo ng copy, nandudun na siya. Right? It's downloadable din naman. Right? But please watch in my YouTube. Right? So that um, maganda rin doon. There's good traffic. Can I do advers advertisement in my YouTube account? Yes. Actually, I sell and I do um, videos. And then, medyo matagal lang 
mat- matagal lang yung videos pero ang dami nagiging views na marami ring inquiry ganun so of course you got to share and market it ganun um hindi lang agad-agad nagkakaroon ng inquiry lalo na pag hindi pa kilala yung channel mo but you know as it we go along nagiging okay din siya ah so Brian Revilla Mercado okay sige Yeah, for those who are real estate brokers, you connect with Ann as well. So Ann will also get in touch with you um, because there's a contract, as an exclusivity contract that you need to sign with Driven before you can start with us. Because, you know, people who are accrediting with us should be exclusive with Driven. Right? What other questions do you have? This is the time to ask questions. And ako konti yung questions. Ha? Clear ba yung presentation? Okay, so if you don't have any questions, thank you very much for your time. Again, the next step is you talk to the person who invited you, uh, probably either through chat or one-on-one. You can just schedule, right? Or if marami kayo, this, this person can even do a group coaching so that you can talk about the next steps. Uh, usually, naman, the next steps is to guide you what area and projects you would want to sell. No, kasi, yun nga, sobrang dami, di ba? Next, kasi ito, bentahan eh. So you have to study the projects, right? So that um, you know ano yung best project na ipwedeng ibenta. Ganon. Uh, meron pong next seminar for CPD para sa PRC. Um, unfortunately, wala pa tayong schedule because of what's happening. Ganon. Um, Supposedly, may naka-schedule last March. Pero since win nga, wala pa nga ganito. So, medyo delayed muna yan. Okay lang naman. No? Kasi, you know, very soon this year, we'll be launching the requirements for you to be a PRC accredited by Driven. Before ka namin gawing o i-recommend to be a PRC accredited, dapat may benta ka. Ganon. Dapat tumaten ka ng mga events. Yun. So, hindi rin lahat iba pa PRC namin agad. Ganon. Kasi marami nang nagpa-PRC, hindi naman nagbenta. So we would want na ano, gamitin yung license dun sa mga seryoso talaga. Yun. So don't really think of that as a problem right now. Ganon. So maghanap muna ng market right, and learn along the way. Ayan. So other questions? Huwag pong mahiya. Habang nandito ako to orient you guys. Sige, kung wala ng questions, ganito gawin natin. Please, dun sa may mga video, on your video, and then Anne will do a screenshot. I will also do a screenshot. Magpa-picture tayo, guys. Yan, picture tayo. Uh, may tanong si Mon, do you have a reading material for PRC accreditation so we can do it while eh, both while prospecting? Um, unfortunately, wala tayong reading material. Kasi usually, yun nga, CPD siya, we attend that yung 12 units. No, we attend yung 12 units sa seminar. Yun yung kailangan kasi siyang gawin. Eh. Ganun. So, that's the challenge, uh, Mon. No, so, we just wait for that, no, for that schedule. But definitely, ang kailangan nyo lang naman gawin talaga, kasi wala naman siyang exam no, for the PRC. Kailangan mo lang umatend ng 12 units of CPD every year. It's renewable every year. Eh. So every year talagang mag-turn, mag-take ka ng units and education, mag-aaral ka, tapos kailangan mong i-renew yung KPRC. Yun talaga yung ano niya. So pang seryoso talaga siya. Hindi siya pwede sa try-try lang. Meron. Uh, nice to meet you, Brian. No? So, film lifer ka rin pala. So, it's an awards night natin kagabi. Eh. And thank you. Thank you, Faustina. We can start marketing already as soon as we got in touch with the broker. Yes. Para at least mag-guide ka niya kung ano yung magandang ibenta. Kasi yun lang naman yung question, di ba? Anong unahin ko? Anong ibibenta ko? Ganon. Di ba? So, guys, please open your 
videos. I want to see you here. And thank you, Mon. Thanks, sir. Clear info, Rubilin. Thanks, sir. Yeah, you can search online. Sabi ni Ann, go to prc.gov.ph for the requirements. Kasi merong application form doon or registration form. Then you can download it. Pero kailangan ng pirma ng broker mo eh. No? Kaya hindi pa sa trip mo lang magiging PRC accredited ka. Hindi, dapat pirmahan talaga ng broker mo yon. So, decision pa rin ni broker kung i-allow ka nila. Okay, so sige. Ngiti tayo dyan sa picture. Batch 1, yan. Nakita ko na, batch 1. Mostly naman, naka-okay na. Wait, let me close. Let me hide the people na walang pictures. Ano ba yun? Ano ba meron yan? Hindi ko makita. Sige, so anyway. So let's, uh, let's take a picture. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. O baka nasa page 2 ka, huwag kang munang sisimangot. Go. Picture, picture, picture. Picture, picture, picture. Okay, one, two, three, go. Okay, thank you very much, guys, for your time. This is DJ Maliwat on behalf of Driven and all your brokers. I hope to see you in our future training. So, may mga training pong kinokondak, yung mga... Yung pala yung next din, no, while waiting and while prospecting. May mga training na kinokondak, yung mga... Uh, training department natin. So, wait for the announcements doon sa Driven Rookies FB page. So, don't forget to add Angelina Reyes in Facebook. Pakilala kayo so that she will add you doon sa Rookies group because all the other announcements will be there. Um, we provide training once in a while um, para at least, you know, even schedule ng PKS. Yun yung mga bagay na pwede nyo nang gawin ngayon while uh, while studying, uh, while waiting for your clients. Ganon. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See you again. See you again. See you soon sa ating office. Right? Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.